In this video, I'm going to show you step-by-step -step instructions on how to replace the front screen on the Google Pixel 7a. To begin the repair, if you can, power down the device, although this one, in our case, is not showing anything on the screen, so we can't. To remove the screen, you're going to take a single-sided razor blade, and the easiest place to start is going to be in this top edge, just by the ear speaker, so that you can get underneath the adhesive and the glass, and we're going to sort of separate the screen away from the chassis of the phone. It's just glass stuck to the chassis on this one, so once you've got under that little edge there with the razor blade, then you should be able to pry it open enough so that you can make a larger gap for a guitar pick to fit into. And then we're gonna sort of slide it along this edge here to separate the screen from the chassis. It is stuck down pretty hard actually, and it is quite tricky to remove. Just remember that the cable's over this side. I'm glad that this screen's broken and I'm not trying to uh, remove it without damaging it. And I'm going to just make a mental note never to offer a battery replacement. But I'm going to continue with the razor blade and the plastic pick. It reminds me of removing an iPad screen. This is probably one of the worst screens that I've ever removed in my life and it just seems to be stuck down really hard, but eventually, after a bit of perseverance, it looks like we've managed to remove this screen from the phone. So, after a little bit of a battle with that one, the phone opens up like a book and then we're just gonna pop a sturdy weighted object behind the screen to stop it from falling over. Then you've got this little anti-static thing that we need to peel back there. And then we can take our Torx T4 screwdriver and remove this screw. And it's holding down the little shield here. Remove that, keep it safe for reinstallation later. Then use the tweezers to lift up the shield and a plastic spudger to disconnect the screen from the foam. With that disconnected, we can remove the screen and we're gonna take a look at making sure that our chassis is really nice and clean now. Now, the part that we're using for this repair is a genuine Google part and it does come with a new adhesive seal attached to it. These are available separately as well. And you can see on the back here that we've got the fingerprint sensor already attached to it. So I will show you a little bit later on how to calibrate that once the screen's installed. But for now, we need to make sure that the edge of this chassis is nice and clean and free of dust, dirt, and old adhesive. I'm gonna use one of these little X-Acto knife blades just to run along and make sure that it's nice and clean. There's no glass still attached to it. I always talk about how important it is to make sure that the edge of these chassis are really clean and it just makes a good job if you if it's stuck down properly how it's designed to be stuck down really you can use some isopropyl alcohol as well just to make sure that it's really really clean and any remaining adhesives removed as well and you can see that's looking pretty spotless now i'm happy with that and i suppose now that reattaching the screen is just a case of removing these plastic films from the back of the screen this is taped down weird and I'm going to use my spudger to help me line it up because it's a little bit sunken and my thumb is too fat to fit in the little gap there. And then apply a little bit of pressure, just like that. And with this shield here, it needs to slide under the little slot, holding it down with my thumb. And I'm going to get my little screw that holds it down and re-secure that T4 screw just here. And now we're just going to peel off the back sheet of the adhesive and fold down the screen. You know what, I'm going to put that little bit of tape stuff on top of those cables, just like that. And line it up in the top left corner first. Make sure that it's secure all the way around and that it sits nice and flush on the edges. And it's not popping up anywhere like that is. It says remove screen protector and do not touch the display during first boot up. And we better avoid touching the display. 
whilst it's turning on. I'm not sure why it says that. Um, remove screen protector during test. And then we've also got this little calibration link as well, which I'll explain. So at least we can tell that we've got image on this phone. In terms of calibration, I'll show you what we do once this has got some charge in a minute. So now that we've installed the new screen and we've got a bit of charge into the phone, we're gonna plug it into our PC via a good USB-C cable. It's very important that you use a good cable. I can't stress this enough. Once it's connected to the PC with a good USB-C cable, remember what I said about that, you need to head to the website in the link below and then you're gonna follow the instructions on the screen. It'll ask you first of all to turn off the device. Then you need to enter fast boot mode, which you do by pressing and holding the power and volume down button for three seconds until the device turns on. And it should now be in fast boot mode, which looks a little bit something like this. So as you can see, we've got fast boot mode just there. Leave it plugged into the PC whilst it's in fast boot mode. And as long as the PC's identified the phone and recognized it's plugged in, you just need to click connect device. And then a little pop-up window will show up just here. And you can choose the phone. So we've got the Pixel 7a. And we're just gonna choose connect. And then it's gonna give us the option to install the calibration software. And it's just a case of, case of kick, clicking install the software and it'll go through, tell us that it's been successful, and then that's it. The phone will just reboot now, and the fingerprint sensor will be recalibrated. I don't have the customer information to test it, but I guarantee now that this fingerprint sensor will now work. Thank you for watching this guide on how to replace the screen on the Google Pixel 7a, and see you again next time.